I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Combini. Memoirs of a Forgotten Combini. I, I don't exactly know what this is other than it had absolutely beautiful pixel art, so I figured I would check it out. It seems to be like a... What? Oh, water. You gotta press the water button. It's like a gas station. Drop by drop, minutes pass and bring me closer to you. But you're not aware of it. Not yet. We both take care- What? Pff. I would like to do it with you now and at the same time so we get to know each other. But I don't know how to show it to you. I'm a little afraid of how you would react if you knew. Ugh. I hate when games advance the text too fast. Okay. How is... How it... S easier since the boss wants us to do it together to gain time. I watch you a lot, but I know you don't notice it. When I'm doing the shelving or working behind the cash register, I can look at you and I, as I am doing now. I like the small pout you do when you are focused on the leaves. I like your hands. Oh, I'm creeped out. Well, you gotta let me read. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the one being weird. Yeah? Sometimes I wonder if I have the right. The right to feel good by your side and want to get closer to you. I have the impression that you take your time to take care of it on purpose. In the end, we're not really getting f faster together. The original language for this was French, so there. I think some of the slightly awkward English might be, you know, second language. Let's just water that thing. It's been a while since I realized that you're also glancing at me. But you know that I lie my gaze on you. When we cross each other's eyes, you would resume talking to me and you would laugh. Sometimes you seem troubled, sometimes you stop talking and focus on something else. I don't think there's a I don't think there's an apostrophe in this tile set or this font. This is just a space. Also mono space, not really my favorite thing to read. Is it the amount of water that I put that advances the text? This evening we finished work on the same schedule. You told me to follow you. We're in the entrance of your apartment, and you burst. You can't find your words. You hesitate. You say you're scared. I say I am too. I come closer and embrace you. You take some confidence back and you kiss me. It's the first time for me. This also doubles as Sir Tap Tap Dating Simulator, the game, or I guess more of a vert visual novel dating spike ball. I don't count anymore the number of times we touched, the number of secrets, the number of words that we shared. We don't show it to our workplace or even outside, but we know it's enough to me. This is as close to dating me that you'll, most of you will ever get, so enjoy it. I didn't actually know it was going to be quite like this. In fact, this is one of those games where I put it in, I have a big list of Ichio games that I want to check out. And uh, some of them I just kind of forget. This was, was this was one of them. I usually don't like to do that, but uh, oh well. You had to leave. Then two weeks after, it was my turn. Then it became more difficult to meet, and we had to stop everything. Now that combini is closed, and nobody's taking care of the plant anymore. It didn't prevent it from rising without us. It's not tidy. Doesn't make sense, but it's still growing. It's a symbol for life. What is a combini? This is gonna bug me. I'm looking it up. Combini. Oh, it's a small. What? Okay, that's not. That can't possibly be what it is. Vacationary? Uh. Oh, it's a convenience store in Japan. Okay, there's also a company which is very unrelated. Yeah, I figured it was like a gas station, which, close enough. Are we done here? Yeah, we're done. Okay. I think watering it advances the text, actually. So we learn the story of the gas station by clicking on all the things, I guess. Ah, oh, the vending machine. Tell me your stories, vending machine. Tell me your secrets. Please tell me there's still a non-Diet Mountain Dew. I wouldn't wish Diet Mountain Dew on anyone. Murmuring in French. How do I? No. What do I do? Oh! I, I missed the first one. It tingles in my cheek, inside my cheeks. 
I don't know the context of this. I'm scared. It was a mix between bitter, acid, and sweet. It's called it's called the citrus pop. It's not like fancy, but whatever. Before I would never pass out. Before I would never pass out, pass over there, because it would make me walk through a huge detour to go home. Yeah, definitely some English as a second language issues. You can figure it out, but reading it out loud, it just distracts me because I'm like, oh, wait, did I read that right? But one day where I decided to, to lost myself on the way back home for some reasons and on my pure will, I found myself thirsty to death in front of this vending machine. I remember that it was on the end of September. Does, do, does anybody actually drink like pop to like quench your thirst though? Like if I'm like thirsty, thirsty, like I need water. Like it doesn't really, like I enjoy, you know, pop, but it, if anything, it just makes me more thirsty. Weather was gray, but it wasn't yet rain season. It was still hot and heavy. Oh, we're back to Sir Tap Tap dating us in, are we? At first I hadn't wanted to go inside the combini, just aside, which appeared to me as a street lamp into the night. But it was closed and for what seemed to be a long time. There was just the vending machine left. The few money that was in my pocket couldn't give me a lot of choice concerning the drinks I could buy. Aren't they all usually the same price? Normally, I don't like it. Citrus flavored drinks. Or to say more clearly, citrus at all. One time a citrus killed my family. But I was thirsty and a little hungry. How many people are going to watch the video and think that that was a line because they weren't paying attention? Uh, and the lemon and yuzu lemonade was winking at me. What is a yuzu? I have to know these things. Yuzu. What is a yuzu? Tell me, oh great Google. It is a plant. It looks like a really ugly lemon. It's the world's ugliest lemon. Let me... Hold on. This is a yuzu. Looks very lemon-like, but with some, it just, it's just a lumpy lemon, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot of French mumbling for an abandoned, like, thing. Also, this static effect is going to murder my bitrate. Rest in pieces. Uh, and the lemon and yuzu lemonade was winking at me, promising a balance between sweet taste and something more acid or bitter. With bubbles. Thanks for the firecrackers, neighborhood kids. It's it's over a week away from 4th of July. What is people's problems? I believe I never had chosen such yet such nicely my drink before. It was a mix between bitter, acid, and sweet. It was a true meeting. This guy is going to have sexual relations with this can of citrus and yuzu. I remember that I tried to empty the bottle the slowest possible on the rest of my walk. When I could go home in the kitchen and clean with attention to the empty bottle, I still have it on a shelf in my room. I put it here to remember and I look at it sometimes. I tried many times to precise taste of it, but the more I would try to retrace it with pieces of gustiary sensation, the more I knew it would undoubtedly get away from its real savor. I quickly became aware of my vain effort to find it back through memories and decided to drink it again. It shows that my quest took me more time than I thought it would take. The vending machine where I found my lemonade was on my everyday goings and comings way. And as much as I scanned carefully through other vending machines I could find on my path, it was impossible to sight my drink in it. This is the quest. This is the quest that everyone who like really wants a freaking Crystal Pepsi has been on. By the way, I had one of those Crystal Pepsis that like they released for the anniversary of the whatever thing. It's just, it's just Pepsi. It's just Pepsi. It's just clear. <laughs> it tastes exactly the same. By the way, there's a Crystal Pepsi joke in FL Seal that gets just a little bit funnier every year because he's talking about getting through his backlog of old Crystal, crystal Pepsi. And at this point, that's like 30 years ago now. Yeah. The vending machine where I, uh, I already read that one. It's clearly after a few moments later, or I lost myself again, but unwilling this, this time, that I found again the Combini and its vending machine. It's always the same. 
We fall on the things we need when we don't seek of them anymore. As if we just had to wait for them to come to us. This guy's having an existential crisis over delicious yuzu fruits. So I was again in front of the vending machine. I could see through the glass. The light was green, so there was some left in the machine. It was a mix between bitter, acid, and sweet. How to describe my deception. It's how to understand the taste was so far from what I remembered. Was it something due to context? I couldn't even finish it. It tasted like medicine, insipid. Was I wrong then? Perhaps it would have been better if I didn't try. Life Lessons brought to you by the Yuzu Kombini. Wow. Makes you think. This freaking. I, I have to see what's the deal with, with robot alien mantis man poster. Never mind, I can't. Oh, the umbrella. Alright, so what? Oh. I think I've already activated it. I guess you just click and, like, it tells you a story about the thing. Oh, no. Maybe not. I guess it just tells you that it rained one time and somebody threw their freaking umbrella into the roof and it got stuck there. What is that? Oh, that's an arcade machine? That is a huge CRT. Look at that. Oh! I don't think there's many, many, many mouse operated freaking, um... Uh, arcade machines, but okay. Oh man, this is... This, why is this so fast? I, I, I feel something that's gonna like pop in the back of my head. It is small, short, and repetitive, but catchy. It stays in my mind. When I am not at home sometimes, I think about it. It rings in my mind and I start to mimic it with my mouth. let it out. Make it real to my ears like it's wrapping myself in a soft blanket. I think this is Polybius. This guy died playing this game. Sometimes I nearly sing it. Pew 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 pew! Amazing. Pew pew! I miss my ship. It's like 8 pixels, dude. I mean, 10 if we're being generous. My ship, I know it is not really mine. To tell the truth, it is kind of everyone's. To whom wants to use it. And I know I'm not the best pilot, for sure. Speak for yourself. Actually, I know that there is someone. And I do not know who exactly who that succeeded to beat the game. It's a default high score. I know because I played for a long time now. One day, when I launched the game, the score had soared. Usually the default scores are really low, though. From only two points! And since the high score is freezing on their achievements, as the ultimate trace of the way they made them for themselves through the machine, it is frustrating me. Really, I try to defeat it, the score. I do not know what's the hardest for me. Not being able to beat the game? I just noticed we have Japanese murmuring now, not French. Not being able to defeat the other players? Maybe not knowing who it, who is that player. Or knowing I, I won't ever be able to play. I tried to train myself to develop skills. I tried to surpass them, to build strategies. I kind of like how this is like, it's like a poetic reflection on everyday events. There was a period where I would play every day because I know, knew. One of the workers who liked to watch me during her breaks told me one month before closure. You won't make it. You have no time. You have no chance to survive and make your time. The day after this confession, 
They displayed on doors the date for final closure of the shop. Did these things have, like, arcade machines? I've never seen an arcade machine in a, in a thing. So all along last month, I've been there more frequently than ever. The last night, because by coming here to play, and by night since I was too busy with my new work during the day, she came to me. She had set her last working hours to the time I would come and play, to witness the moment I would surpass the unbeatable high score. She was scanning the screen without any sound. I possessed all night on the fr- I didn't get to read that. The reflexes of my body were sagging, but not my mind. I did not get to read that. Even like, just pew pew pew. This <laughs> impossible. I can't take this seriously where the guy's like pew 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 pew. She didn't say anything on my last game over. Get right on the screen. I was so close. From two points. She just put off the machine in silence and understood that I had to leave. This game doesn't track by- this game doesn't track single digits, dude. What, what, what did you even do? I don't know how exactly I lost this morning. But something is missing inside me. Pew! I can't- <laughs> every time you do that, I, I can't. I-I just can't. I'm un- I'm unable. I, I like the shooting sound of my ship. I, I kind of wish I could stop hearing it, to be honest, so I could just read. Oh no! I thought it was gonna get like a high score. Oh, this, this is a real bug on my screen. I thought it was like... I like that. That's way too detailed to be pixel art bug. Um, the sign. Get frickin'... I'm gonna murder this bug. Whoa, neon. Oh, this is my kind of game. Frickin' CGA! I was in the bus. It was a nav between two big cities and I had to... Uh, the driver took a break at the countryside road in front of a combini. It is raining. Frickin' slow down! Chill! I don't remember why I said get down, but I was a little hungry, but I don't know. I really wish this game had manual text advance. I need to get back in the bus. Ah. The driver, forget me. Or he left without me on purpose, but I don't think he intended to leave me here. He was tired, he was thinking about something else. It's okay. I will wait for the next one. There isn't any bus shelter for, for now, so I wait under the Kambini's roof. I need to check schedule. But it's raining. Why am I in a rainforest? Just go out in the rain, dude. It's not gonna murder you. Unless you're a witch. Are you a witch? I think this guy's a witch. Oh. Schedule took sunlight and rain and it faded. I like how my thing is like, oh, it's like a little glowy thing. Well. I'll just wait and see what is coming. This, this is kind of this is like the horror story of why I don't do public transit stuff. I, I'm afraid that like this will happen. I played some other public transit themed games, and I've talked about this. Like, it's really dark. I, I guess it's harder to get like permanently lost. <laughs> I'm freezing my nuts off. <laughs> Amazing, and my legs are numb. I guess with a cell phone, it's harder to get like trapped or anything, but still. There isn't street light, and I can't see where the road's going. Neither on left or right. I won't sleep on the bench at the bus stop, right? It is all wrecked. Right? Why are you asking me? I don't know. Left? Don't screw with me, man. Straight ahead? I thought he was asking right, as in, like, correct. Hmm. Hmm. If I walk same in the direction as the bus, maybe I'll reach my destination. I always heard that when you are lost, you must stay where you are and wait for someone to get you. 
I mean, if somebody's actually gonna be there. I will wait. I'm gonna wait for that guy who, like, is gonna get that drink. What did that last one say? It's dark. But, but did he find, did he find a thing? Is there, is there anything else? I tried clicking the, um, the plant on the inside. That actually just gives you the same thing as the other one, as the other plant. Um, oh, oops, not that. Click the cups. I guess it's just the, uh, one, two, three, four. I guess it's just the four stories then. Oh, I was about to start a second video, but I guess that's the story of the Combini. I don't know why that just makes it rain. It's only one thing that's like that. But yeah, that seems to be it. That was Combini, and that was... <laughs> I like when games tackle sort of more mundane topics and try to make it, you know, make it worth playing, make it interesting, but uh, relatable and very personal. I like that, and very peaceful. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I just put this in my list because pixel art and uh, I guess the slice of lifeness of it. But yeah, that was Combini. Combini, whatever it is.